how? How? How does this keep happening? How does one team continue to blow double digit leads like this? This is not supposed, it's different if you get blown out. Trash teams get blown out all the time, but to consistently be up by double digits, by three possessions, and then proceed to blow the game time after time after time again? Oh my God. This, this may be the worst loss Matt Ryan has suffered. You know what? I'm going to say the second worst loss Matt Ryan has suffered in his career. Obviously, we know the worst loss is the Super Bowl, which actually brings me to this. Once again, you're going up against Tom Brady. You have a, a three-digit lead on this guy. And then once again, the team as a whole sits back and blows a 17-point lead. I cannot believe this. This is Matt Ryan's legacy. It's not all his fault, but this is that man's legacy. Think about it. That's his legacy. Now, Matt Ryan played a hell of a game. 356 passing yards and three touchdowns. He did what he could. Unfortunately, you got to find a way to close the game. When your, your defense gave up 21 points in the third quarter. You, time and time again, Matt Ryan, you and the offense have seen this situation before. You've seen that pathetic excuse for a defense. Just choke, choke, and choke again. You as an offense, when you go out there, you've got to find a way to close the game. If you've got to run the ball, do whatever you can. But you, you've you got to fight back and make sure this doesn't happen. Because I'm sitting there thinking, like, how does this continue to happen? How can anybody in that locker room be happy playing for this team? How can you have pride as a defensive player being on this squad when they consistently choke, choke after choke after choke after choke? Man, this is tough. I got my, got my favorite receiver in Julio Jones on the Atlanta Falcons. One of the main guys I wanted in Calvin Ridley on the Atlanta Falcons. They've got all of this talent on the offense. They're balling. But this team has been part of some of the worst choking performances we've seen. To think my man Julio Jones had his moment in the Super Bowl. Only to have this team choke the lead. And here he is again against Tom Brady and the crew. Him and the, and the team in the offense are just doing their thing. And again, they blow a, a, a triple uh, three-digit lead. Of 17 points? 17 points and you blow it? Time after time again. This is what... This is what Julio Jones has to deal with. You know, this is the same type of madness Calvin Johnson had to deal with. This is what caused him to say, I can't take this anymore. All the time in Detroit... All those painful losses we've dealt with, the choking performances, the bad performances, missing out on the play, all of that nonsense Calvin Johnson had to deal with in Detroit with Matthew Stafford and the crew, even though it wasn't always Matthew Stafford's fault, but like all the nonsense he had to deal with with that squad. I can see why he just put up the cleats and said, I can't do this anymore. I'm looking at Julio Jones and, this, and the talent on that offense. It's just being wasted. It's being wasted. These are the games they should be winning. This, When you see a game like this, it'll show like this is the potential. Look what they have on the squad. Yet at the end of the day, nobody's going to care about the stats because the team as a whole continues to blow leads. This is the legacy of the Atlanta Falcons. This is Matt Ryan's legacy. And again, I'm not putting all the... You can't even put the blame on them. What's he supposed to do when his defense gives up 21 points in the third quarter? That defense, every single player on the defense should be ashamed of themselves. The defensive coordinator needs to be ashamed of himself. And the worst part is Dan Quinn isn't even here. This is just in the team's DNA. Dan Quinn's not here to put the blame on. He been, he's been fired. He's been fired such a long time ago. And the team still continues to choke. Oh my God! I, I I mean, I hate this. Julio Jones, my favorite receiver in the league. Well, I mean, second favorite. My favorite is Larry Fitzgerald. But you know, like I watch Larry Fitzgerald and I watch um, 
Julio Jones, and then third would be DeAndre Hopkins. But I'm watching Julio Jones on this offense, and it's it just doesn't end. This is Matt Ryan's legacy. This is Julio Jones' legacy. They have to carry this with them. How does a team consistently find ways to blow three-digit leads? How? And at this point, you look at this situation, and you just got to think, Matt Ryan, that is, at this point, there's nothing you can do. You know, at the end of the day, you, you know, in the Super Bowl, you blew that double-digit lead. You and the whole team blew that double-digit lead against Tom Brady. And it was like, okay, well, we can blame it on Dan Quinn, Bill Belichick doing this. This ain't happening here. Tom Brady's with Tampa Bay. He ain't even near Bill Belichick. And Dan Quinn's been fired. He have another double, not double, double, a triple-digit lead on this man. And not triple digit, but triple possession, like a three possession game. You have that on him, and then your defense proceeds to choke. And then you're looking at the offense for guidance, and they're doing what they can, but they just can't close the game. They can't close the game, and the defense continues to choke. How do you give up 21 points in the third quarter? Why do I have to watch Julio Jones? play for this team and have to be part of some of the most embarrassing losses in NFL history. That's going to be his legacy. Nobody's going to remember the heroic catch he made in the Super Bowl. He's part of one of the biggest choking performances in the history of this game. And now this organization, all they just do is choke games away. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know what to say anymore. I can't blame Matt Ryan because he played a great game. But this defense, this is this is sad. If you're a Falcons fan at this point, you know, there's two games left. Whatever happens, happens. Like, don't cheer. Moving forward, don't cheer. From the start of the game to the end of the game, do not cheer unless the game is officially over. That's all I can say. Because if you got a 17-point lead, you got a 20-point lead, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And unless it's a fourth quarter with three minutes left and it's a 22-point lead, honestly, it doesn't matter. And even then, you still may want to be cautious. Because when it comes to this team, they just find a way. They find a way to choke. They find a way to blow. They find a way to... They just... I can't... This is sad. If you're a Falcons fan, I feel for you guys. I really do. This is pathetic. This is honestly pathetic. This is really going to be Matt Ryan's legacy. And it's not all his fault. It's not. It's not like he's played bad. But it's really going to be his legacy. He's going to have a legacy of choking. This is sad. This is really sad. He's really going to have a legacy of choking. Julio Jones is going to have a legacy of being a great receiver on one of the biggest choking teams we've seen this century. Wow. That's all I got to say, man. I'm done.